We are painting these hollyhock flowers. Enjoying art is a global artist community. I want to welcome you to join us today. Now let's start today's painting. Let's do a little quick layout and drawing. So I'm going to use the calligraphy brush. Just use a very little light color. Thinking about to have it the bottom over here, the top over here. So I'm going to lightly putting this location to make up your mind. It's very important that this flower would cut into a little bit more than half of the space. Like on this side, and we're going to have some darker color on the outside to make the flower stand out a little bit more like that. And there's the flower over here a little bit darker. And we're just going to start painting with the uh, one inch flat brush. Let's paint the middle tone color, which looks like just the red color. A little red color with the, maybe a little winter blue red shade. A little bit like that. And just a little bit red color, a little bit brighter. Okay, now I'm going to put this just looking for the shape. Just the shape. Looking for the shape, drawing the shape. So this is the one shape. I'm going to paint a little bit on this side. And this almost like a similar value and similar tone. And right on this side. So I don't want this two color connected at this point. Just leave a little gap. This is already connected. We're going to see how it look. So on the other side, I'm going to have a little bit red. And with the Windsor Blue red shade. And I'm going to take a look at how this shape look like. Okay, a little gap over here, like that, separate it. Here you go. That's good. And coming over here, I'm going to make this line a little bit less uh, straight. I'm going to have it like that. I'm going to come out a little bit and then come in like this. Like over here, I'm going to reserve this a little bit lighter. So it's very easy to use this large brush. Just lift it up. That's just good. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Reserve that to be a light shape. I can fill in some bright color a little bit later. Okay. Now over here, we predict that there's the color will come in over here. So lift up the color a little bit. That's okay. Now I'm going to put the shadow shape. Here you go over here coming in see that make sure there's the edge of the shape a little bit more clear see that there's a little bit more clear over there and have the shape coming over here too okay now I have a little bit shape for the yellow at this point i would like to try to do something in the outside background use the Windsor blue green shade, put it over here. And I'm going to get some red color. First, think about how dark's the color, right? And then think about what color is it. Now, I'm getting a little bit yellow color to make it feeling a little bit more green. And here you go. Putting this color, that's good. Now, I'm going to start the painting around the outside, wetting the paper with the color. I'm going to paint it over here around. That's good, like that. Okay, coming over here. Here you go. Now on this side, I'm going to make some even darker color. So put this color in here. Wet the surrounding first. Here you go. Now I'm coming over here, come back over here. And I'm going to loosen the edge. Now I'm going to come back with some darker color. Get a little bit yellow, a little bit more blue. Okay, come back over here, make it a lot darker. Here you go, here you go, like that. Somewhere have a little bit more lighter, 
somewhere have a little bit more put a little bit more yellow color here and make it feel a little bit lighter like over here I have a little bit more just yellow color and here you go like that a little bit more red a little bit more blue and I'm gonna put this color a little bit more darker but oh, that's good like that and over here I can add a little darker shape to breaking this whole area like that I think it's good I'm just going to take the water with my hand and I'm going to put a little bit more water drop on this side also the bottom over here maybe a little bit at the top over here like that when this is still wet I'm going to start to do a little lifting and the top over here just let go most of the wet with using your calligraphy brush now take a look at over here I don't want to put it right over there so I'm going to put it here instead that's good enough and then I'm going to add some yellow color into here What I am going to use is the calligraphy brush. I'm going to come to just take the red color and take a look. I'm start from the top. I'm open up my brush, make it look like a medium fry brush. And coming down like this, you're going to have some texture coming this way. Like that. Keep some area light if you want to. Like that. And get a little bit of water. I'm going to have this connected a little bit and keep a little light area if you see that that's good coming on this side that's good and the outside already dry so it won't be affecting that much coming over here I'm gonna have this also this color coming onto this side and this separate flower okay coming over here continue screen your eye to see how dark that color that color can be a lot darker like this I'm going to throw a little green color in the middle but the green color also need to be dark I'm going to put that color right in here like that this is, would be the big catch to shadow I'm going to come into a little red with this uh, blue color together now in the middle and I'm going to change that a little bit more blue color. Now take a look. A little bit more blue color. Start over here. Now the shape is very, very crucial in any painting. And this coming in this way. Like that. That's beautiful. Make it a little bit lighter of this blue color. Now keep going. Seeing all the shapes and somewhere just the red somewhere have a little bit blue color into it and also use the advantage of this calligraphy brush the middle of the brush has almost like a no color coming over here too so you have a nice transition into that okay like this that's good now over here I also do a little transition over here like this that's nice okay a little transition now I'm gonna have a little bit uh, softer by having a little lighter uh, of the same color like that okay that's good and put a, a few dry brush that's nice okay now I'm gonna put a little bit softer color on over here I think it's too much texture you don't want too much texture it will create too much dry feeling okay have a little bit texture over there now I'm gonna be ready just use the red color okay and over here I have to catch the shadow beautiful catch the shadow okay like that here you go coming all the way here 
draw the edge coming all the way to this side okay now on the edge over there I have a little bit purple in this color so I'm going to come up over here to meet the side they have a little purple and purple in this color here you go now I'm gonna a little bit more red that's good I'm gonna start over here see that that connect that over okay a little big shape over here like that scrape I'm gonna walk into this flower and the majority of this flower more purplish color a little bit more winter blue red shade color okay a little bit more water I don't want it to be too dark I'm going to take a look at start over here and I'm going to put this color in here here you go and coming around over here now start making the changes now here you go a little bit more turning this way okay I kind of like to do the shadow area even darker and that's okay okay coming over here a little turning all right now I'm gonna doing a little bit faster like this coming around now you have a second opportunity to change the edge okay now I'm gonna make this a little bit sharper catch the shadow usually pretty sharp the edge okay coming over here coming down connecting down over here that's nice now I'm going to come in the top over here we do that and coming in over here now coming all the way here a little bit clear here you go now I'm going to also at the same time put a little yellow color over there so you make it stand out a little bit more separate okay like that I'm gonna have this connect into here okay now the catch the shadow looks really nice now I'm gonna have a little bit yellow color with a little bit uh, blue color now I'm gonna put this color right in the middle over here because it's wet this is perfect and let it looks a little bit more softly blending in like that had the color coming out a little bit like this and we're going to add a little bit purple colors to that a little bit later yeah now I'm going to add the little yellow color just right in, in the middle and take a look at that just the yellow I'm going to put the yellow color right in here and obviously this yellow is too light now I need to have it a little bit orange in this color put it over here so make it dim down a little bit the value need to be a little bit lower this is great now I'm gonna come into this flower I'm gonna have a little bit yellow over here too you can just move it around so that it removes some of the color but squeeze in the yellow green color so take a look at after all the yellow green colors is not really that light it actually part of the shadow right so it's making sure you have that dark enough okay like this that's good over here like that make it a little bit softer over here and the edge that's good now I'm going to start having the yellow orange in this color and inside this part right over here and keep the outside over here have actually in the edge and the shadow side and still see some shadow over here and keep a little dot over here a few dot so make it suggesting that is make it a little bit softer over here so it's form it to see that is the surface how it look it's good all right I'm gonna come back with a little detail uh, maybe we can try something like I have the red color with a little bit um, 
of the Windsor Blue red shade. Now I'm going to have a little bit texture like that. Here you go. I'm going to do it from the inside going to the outside. Let's take a look. It's still wet. That's good. Like that. And need to have a little bit more water. It's just look. I'm going to have this. This is the direction. Okay. Something over here. Now I'm going to soften that a little bit to give it a little bit softer feeling, okay? And give a little bit over here too. Okay, some color over here. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Now I'm going to soften that a little bit. Just use the water. And have those not really that is standing out that much. Give a little bit soft. Bling the color around. Okay. And the middle have a little bit more brighter uh, green color. Here you go. Have that a little bit over there. The connected color. And that's good. Have a little bit green color over here. There you go. Now connect it in here. And then I'm going to have the outside make it a little bit softer. Open the hair. Make it look like a flat brush. Okay. I'm going to just blur it on the outside. Okay. Okay, that's good. A little bit soft feeling. Right, that's very nice so far. And then I'm gonna come in over here to give it a little details into the middle of the flower here. Just put a few dots and it would getting the impression. I'm gonna have a little bit orange color, a little bit more putting in here make it more persistent now this is good I'm gonna come back here they have a little bit more a little bit sharper over here here you go now it's already dry so we can do it again okay that's good and we can have a little bit more purple color Start over here. That's good. I can make it really clean. Okay, like that. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to have this little red color connecting into that. That's okay. Like this. And now this shape looks very nice. Now on the top over here, I'm going to add a little big shape showing that is the flower petal. A little bit like that. This is pretty good. Maybe even more red in the tip over here. Like that, that's good. Uh, showing very nicely. Now I'm going to add the red purple color. Now I'm going to add this color over here showing that not too dark, showing that the dimension turning into okay until now I'm going to use this color to refine the edge of this petal on the other flower. Okay like that that's good. Okay. Now I'm going to make this separation between this petal and the petal in the inside. 
that is the shape and the value difference and that created uh, suggestions. Okay, that's good. Now, get lots of interesting going on. I'm going to have this, expand this a little bit like that. That's good. Now, this how we create the shapes and make the flower looks more and more as dimensional. And on the other side of the petal, on the other flowers, and I'm going to do a more organizing by using the same color. Do it one more time over here. Even I can make it a little bit darker. And when you use a smaller brush, it may not really do it as good. Okay, I'm gonna having it coming the center over here and have a little bit blue color in the middle. So I'm just gonna use the blue color a little bit more in the middle over here to connect that Okay, now uh, it's very nice. You see that a lot softer and easier. Use your large brush as much as you can. Even those little detail on the edge, a little detail in the edge over here. And seeing that that's a little darker color. And you can also do that too. Little darker color over here. That's good. That's good. I'm going to have that little color over here. There you go. It's good to use the large brush it is. with the click of your brush together you're taking care of all the connection relationship edges okay I'm gonna make this a little bit softer smooth transition as the flower petal now you're gonna screen your eye take a look at it and I'm sure that is Probably a little bit more red in here, a little bit brighter. So here you go. I'm gonna have this color a little bit more blending into here. Now this looks a little bit better. Okay, this I'm gonna soften that a little bit. I come back to redo the redo the the purple, uh, purple line. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna use a very dry brush and dry paint to redo uh, those purple line. I'm gonna take this color. A little bit more red and this color is not really wet I'm going to take a look at the motion of the line I'm going to start over here like that here you go the direction I'll take a look over here that's good And continue. Take a look over here. Put it down and leave it up. You can do that with a little speed. Okay. That's good.
okay a little bit over here and see a little bit on this pedal push it down and lift it up and take a look on the other side put it down lift it up that's good observation is very important okay over here lift it up okay over here too and a few line over here that's pretty good I'm gonna have a couple line over here too Now I'm gonna come back over here, give it a little bit more yellow green color in the middle. Right here, make it a little bit more as showing that a little bit stronger. As well as over here in the middle, have a little bit more blue. That's very nice. And I'm gonna come in here to give it some suggestions, a little bit brownish color to showing the the middle of this part here. Here you go, like this. And the both side. Okay, like that and then gonna have a little bit orange color on the edge here let's get a little fresh orange color just get the yellow color and the red That's good, right here. Gonna have this a little bit brighter color. That's good. Now over here too, I'm going to make this a little bit dimmer. A little bit softer. All right, a little bit more separation, also a little bit brighter. It's just the red and this purple color, a little bit brighter. Here you go. Now I'm going to make this petal suggesting a little bit differently. Okay, that's good one line is good enough i'm gonna have this a little suggestions at the inside of this petal and i have a little red and the blue color i'm gonna reform this edge there you go gonna have a little bit lighter and a little bit more blue over here there you go have a little bit more blue like I even have a little bit longer brush stroke and the shadow side I might going to light up a little bit over here because I think I can add a little blue color here. 
lấy để đáp add a little bit more blue just the blue and shade it on top of this you see the transition it's not just blue it's a little bit lighter color okay here you go